Sea you... urchin! Are you excited? I love sea urchin! Really? Yes! I just, I want to demolish this. A moment on the lips. Ten years of the hips. Mm. Hello, today we're going to be trying Maori snacks. Kia ora! Oh, mm-hmm. Yum. I love this. I don't mind people eating Māori food, taking Māori land, well that's another kōrero in another video, but um, <laughs> to be able to share the kai that we have and our people have thrived on, it's cool, it's cool to share with the world. We have a new person, is that the person? Person? Uh, Rizal. Hello Rizal. Hi you everyone. I'm just excited to taste whatever is put in front of me. <laughs> Especially like with First Nations mobs all over the world, like I, I think that's the thing that always fascinates me the most, like the, the similarities, differences. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah? When you say donut in the United States of America or anywhere else, you would think like a circle that Homer Simpson eats, but in New Zealand, they're in a bun. <laughs> you can find this at every bakery across the whole country from the top to the bottom. Whoa! I just, I want to demolish this. My hot girl summer is, is going to be, you know, summer. is going to be ambushed by this. A moment on the lips. Ten years of the hips. Yeah. I'll take the lifetime on the hips yeah. for this. Oh. That is delicious! This is nice. Is this like huge finger bun vibes? I'm trying to think what a finger bun is. It's like icing on the top. Oh, just icing and nothing inside. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tom, can't take you anywhere. Bro, you just scoop it up with your finger, Kazzy, and then finish it off. All good, my bro. You know, a lot of like Western food is like sickeningly sweet. Mm. This isn't that. No, it's not sweet. No. It's better than Krispy Kremes. 100%, I'm not even lying. This is 100% donut for me, and it's great. Next up, we have abalone. It's correctly said power. Power. Yeah. What's a, what's a abalone? Uh, yeah, but power. I can't say I've had any other kind of meat that's had the same texture as a power. It's like a Dunlop tyre. Like a Dunlop tyre. <laughs> Eating a tyre, I reckon, is probably the comparison without the rubbery taste. Well, it's it's creamy fish stuff, right? With onions, ground down green vegetables or green herbs. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. Yeah, when that spoon hits the hits the palate, and you start to realize, wow, I wish I was Maori, cause I want to eat power every day. It kind of has mint texture. Am I wrong by saying that? It's chewy. Mmm. It's like really creamy, like really nice creamy. Very textury. I haven't had a dish like this. Yeah, I've never had one like this. But before. the taste just is there's, there's something about it. Fantastic, mm. delicious. What else can you say? I know we have something similar in the Torres Strait to mm. this with the raw fish and the mm. coconut cream. Anything with coconut cream is, is gold, I think. Like the Kazi Lulu said, you know, um, they've got it in the Torres Strait. It's definitely a dish that's well traveled, um, especially around the Pacific Rim. But in Aotearoa, they're very particular about their raw fish. And the main part that you need to think about when making a raw fish is the seasoning. If you can get the seasoning right, yo way. Do you yeah. eat raw fish? Uh, I have, you know, I have sushi, but um, that's about as far as I go. Let's go for it. Yum, yum. Mm. Remind me of coleslaw? Not what I expected what as did well. You expect? Much more of a stronger, like, seafood flavour, if that makes sense. More of a mm. fishier sort of right. flavour, and I don't think it's that at all. It's almost like a fresh salad. Thing. I don't know, there's something just about having hot food that I love. Like, I just have, love having hot food. I'm not saying this is bad, but like, hot food is just nice. This is not hot food, this is cold. I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, if this was heated up, it could be quite good. Potentially. <laughs> yeah, it, it would be called cooked fish if it was hot. <laughs> it's very light, so I feel like if you want like a light meal, mm. this would be perfect for that. Mm. I reckon this be pretty healthy. I was gonna say, it seems it's pretty healthy. healthy too, so. Yeah. I know there's some like, pretty buzzwords that they have nowadays, like vegans and vegetarians and pescatarians and equestrians. I don't know what that is, but our ancestors were already kind of on that wave. Eating from plants, eating from insects, if you will, eating from birds, eating from fish. Whoa! Wow. Is it butter? Oh. Is it a... 
<laughs> this is legit carbicide wow. right now. Bread, again, is a universal thing. And Māori have adapted bread and added our own flavour, if you will. And uh, that flavour is a lot of butter by the looks of things. Man, that's a lot of butter, actually. Give the cousin your high cholesterol. What's going on there? Fried bread. <clears throat> Right, it's just fried bread, so fried bread. Fried bread. Uh, Maori thing, pretty cool. Probably bad for my cholesterol. But... Probably, but we can't be certain. Can't be certain. Yeah. Probably. So there is room for doubts. Extra butter. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yum. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I love my gym. I love eating healthy, but damn, like this is just like, mm-hmm. This with like jam or honey would just be like, oh, honey. Heaven yep. sent. When did you have this with Nutella? I think you could, well, it's, you could have this with whatever. Even Vegemite. Oh. I wonder what they would think of that. Maoris? Yeah, yeah. Well, they'll they'll be like, don't insult oh, our yeah. food. Yeah. The whole video, they're like, you are trash. <laughs> <laughs> You can actually have it with anything and everything and uh, I can guarantee you this now that Māoris have tried anything and everything with a fry bread. It's thick but it's light, it's ready and yummy and... This is something I would eat with the other dishes and dip it in the dishes. Mm. Mm. I think that's it for that one. We're not done with this Tom. <laughs> <laughs> so next we're trying karengo and it's a seaweed stew dish with meat which I think is pork. Unless you were like an iwi or a tribe that live close to the coast you wouldn't like normally have this on a regular basis but if you are like living on the coast you definitely have this as part of your diet. Oh it smells good. All right. I'm gonna eat this oh. seaweed. That's that's that seaweed is like feels like you've just picked that out of the sea. Tastes like seaweed. <laughs> How's the meat? Strong porky Salty, te like texture to it. I want to eat this with um, rice and some steamed boiled potatoes. If I was to say rank some of the foods, which probably wouldn't be one of my favorites. Right. The meat though is like super pink and like peeling off. It's just like really nice meat. Tender. Yeah. We have sea urchin. Sea urchin and sea urchin. Are sea you urchin! Are you excited? I love sea urchin! Really? Yes! Uh, this stuff is expensive! Really? Oh. Yeah. It must be expensive, I'm guessing, in Australia. Um, Kinder in New Zealand is pretty accessible. Some places in New Zealand you could probably just walk out the ocean knee deep, bend over and pick you a couple of you up. For me, this is just absolutely like so out of my comfort zone, but that's right. what we're here for, you know Absolutely. what I mean? Like, we're here to try new food. Some people are like apprehensive at first because the kinna itself is like a weird alien looking kind of creature. Some people have some after effects from eating kinna. Have you tried it before? Yeah, I've had it heaps of times. Oh, okay. I've never tried it with lemon. All right, here we All go. Right. Three, two, one. That's super fishy. Oh. I love it. That's like an oyster times 10. I love it. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> the bro Will's reaction is really common. You know, sometimes there's a lot of a sodium inside the kinder and sometimes it's a bit too much for Fano out there, but the sister Rizal, you seem to enjoy it, so yeah. It's one of those things like, you're either gonna like it or you're not gonna like it. Oh, I hope I'm not getting like any allergies now. <laughs> I just had a, like a twitch in my foot. It's fine, like now I'm mm. like, oh, that's cool. I tried, is it kinna? Tried kinna, it's fine. But it's kind of like, Ooh, It'd be nicer for a glass of wine, actually. Uh... Do you have any wine? <laughs> okay, wine. Not too bad, pretty pretty good. Very fishy, obviously, because it's from the ocean. Oh, I love it. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I think that food was really, really good. Like, there was nothing that wasn't good. I'm so full. There was nothing that we had that was put in front of us that was like, I'm not even no. going to go there. It's really good to hear the good response that they had, eating uh, traditional Māori and uh, New Zealand koi. Oh, yeah, no, pretty cool. Good on them, that's me. You don't have to go to New Zealand to try it. You can try it here. Yeah, go to Kapi Kai. Mm. Go to Kapi's Kai in Wood Park and you can try all this stuff. Yep. And tell them we sent you. I won't do anything, but just say it anyways.